Kalpak and Elacek, Cultural Heritage of Kyrgyz People. Kyrgyz people have created an infinitely rich heritage of nomadic culture. Over the centuries they have saved traditional headwear. The greatness of the people with history of thousands of years. Kalpak is a kind of traditional male headwear. The first mention of it can be found in the sources of the thousands years old. One of the tribes populated Central Asia were Saka Tigrahauda. They get their name from the name of their male headwear. Tigrahauda translated as people with pointy hats. Kalpak can be done in uncut technique, cut and sewn in two or four patterns, and in general of white color. In ancient times, Kalpak was made in felting technique of sheep wool. For a long time, Kalpak was made of coarse wool of natural white or light brown colors. Then it was done of fine wool. Later, Kalpak was made in cut technique and was consist of two wedges made of firmly felt. It was high, with a white brim without lining and any decoration. The wedges were stitched with a simple seam. Ancient Kalpak was without a tassel on the top. The shape of Kalpak has gradually changed and more attention was paid to the decoration. Until the second half of the 19th century, Kalpak was short and consisted of two patterns. The patterns were stitched with the thin threads made of horse mane or of soft wool and the brim was sewn with these threads too. The top was decorated with a tassel on a thin thread. For a comfortable fit, the Kalpak had cuts and both sides. Since the second half of the 19th century, Kalpak was made of four patterns with lining. The brim was trimmed with a class 7-12 cm wide. Kalpak has become shorter and with decoration. The techniques of making this style of Kalpak were changed in accordance with the time demands. Each woman made Kalpak herself for a spouse, son, and grandson or specially ordered from a needlewoman. All year around Kalpak was worn by men of all ages. Kalpak differed depend on a trim, ornament and age of man. Besides, Kalpak could tell about social position of its owner. Kalpak was worn not only as a tribute to the tradition, but also because of warm, light and comfortable features of natural wool. Elechek is a headwear of married women. The origin of Elechek presumably dated back to the time of Kusham Empire, 1st, 3rd centuries AD. Elechek consists of a long white cloth or romol wrapped around the women's head. The cap coming under the oromol, cloth coming along the back, arkalik. Over the braided hair of women, chin rest and neck scarf. Currently, Elechek is a museum piece, as an element of the ancient Kyrgyz traditional costume. Other names of Elechek, Kalek and Ilek. Elechek was worn in all areas of Kyrgyzstan. Each kind had own features different in form and method of wrapping. When women married, she started to wear Elechek her whole life. Depend on Elechek decoration and wrapping style, one could determine age and tribe belonging of the women. The craft of wrapping Elechek was passed from mother to daughter, from the old generation to young generation. The textile of the Elechek could be used for different purposes in the conditions of nomadic life. Before wrapping Elechek, the women in the northern part of Kyrgyzstan first wore a cap on a hat, then attached arkalik, then put chin wrist, or a mole wrapped from left to right. Each cloth layer should put down smoothly and accurately. The end of the class should be as a white fold which attached on the left side of wrapped alachek. The stripe put up on wrapped alachek kurgak can be made of red or white class and decorated with precious stones, silver, pearls, 
coral. Kalpak and Alacek are the essential elements of the traditional Kyrgyz costume, which differ Kyrgyz people from other people. Under the influence of the Soviet era, from the mid-20th century, the Kyrgyz gradually start to wear European clothes and replace traditional headwear with modern ones. Most of the elements of traditional costume were not preserved until nowadays and only some of our elder people wear them. Contemporary the theatrical style of traditional classes is worn by artists and by some people for holidays and family celebrations. Kalpak is a national symbol of the Kyrgyz people. Each year on the 5th of March we celebrate the Day of White Kalpak in Kyrgyzstan. Kalpak lost its primordial importance despite the fact that Kalpak is worn in everyday life nowadays. As for the Alicek, it is completely out of use. Last traditional styles of Alicek were worn in the 80 years of last century. Alicek has lost own place in our culture. The traditional methods are partially preserved, mostly made of the textiles of low quality. However, today, despite of various difficulties, many organizations, researchers, students doing a great job doing research, organizing exhibitions, festivals, workshops, involving more and more people to a process of preserving original traditional Kyrgyz costume as great cultural heritage. The era of nomads is disappearing before our eyes and the past together with the unique heritage of our ancestors. We will lose time with our serious and giant efforts in preserving of our heritage. We will lose time with our serious and giant efforts in preserving of our heritage. We are in charge to save Kalpak and Elechek, the heritage of our ancestors for ourselves and for future generations. Thank you.